All right, the uh, Casa Silent Color, or AK-195BL, AK-195-BL, is, well, with, with shipping, it's more like 12 bucks per or something like that, depending on the company you're dealing with. CE and ROHS certifications made in China, 139 by 25 millimeters. Two-year warranty, 130 grams, seven blades, 115, 120, and 125 millimeters between the mounting holes so that I don't know what happened to my my uh, commas I did put commas in there per, before I'm, I know I must have 1000 rpms which is why it's so darn quiet 47.09 cfms of airflow which is 80 cmhs maybe point uh, I said point 0.1 here uh, I'll, I'll I'll be generous and I'll say point 0.3 uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. 19.5 decibels. I think really it's actually quieter than that. 31 centimeter long fan cable. No daisy chaining or sleeving. Three pin DC connector. Sleeve bearings 12 volts, 1.44 watts, and 0.12 amps. It has indicators of direction of rotation and flow. Turns in a clockwise direction. Comes with four rubber pins for mounting and a 31 centimeter male to female. Uh, Molex D to three pin connector, which is connected to another three pin one that's a two wire one by 30 meters of uh, centimeters of wire, or 30 meters, oh my god, 30 centimeters of wire in between. And uh, yeah. Hi, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and let's take a look at the Akasa Silent Color 139 millimeter fan. And yeah. I mean, you can see that the blades are blue. Is it really silent, though? Let's find out. Now, in addition to the fan, it does... They used to do this with their accessories. Put them in a separate box, which I, don't, which I haven't shown before, but several of my Acasa fans have that. And you get these four very long silicone rubber mounting pins let me just turn it on all right and this will allow you to daisy chain your fans either with the Molex D or with the 3 pin or both and um or even you can plug it into your power supply instead of your motherboard so that they'll run at maximum speed all the time don't do both don't plug them into the motherboard and into your power supply or you'll fry it just in case you didn't know that so the fan as you can see translucent some might call that a transparent but it's actually translucent if it's transparent then it's glass that you can see through completely and three pin connector. Now let's listen to it. Now you might think, oh, silent color, it's got lights. Uh, no. That's just a trick. Oh, I forgot. Um, this is a little bit unusual for fans, but I do have some that I've reviewed previously that this one has actually got three settings for or not settings, but positionings for mounting on a case. So I believe it's, uh, I'll show you later with the specs, but I believe it's 120, 125, and uh, 130 uh, millimeters between the holes, but we'll check it later. So let's find out about the noise level from this fan. And I should have reviewed this with all my other larger fans, but it slipped under my radar. It is the last of my Acasa fans, which is my Acasa collection is one of the largest collections I have in my inventory, if not the largest. Okay, this is actually doing pretty well. Trying not to go too slowly or too low on the... Ooh, look at this. I can almost follow it with my eyes. Uh-oh. There we go. That is as slow as I'm going to get it to go.
And essentially, there's no noise from that. Unless you put your ear right next to it. I have twice now heard what seems to be a harmonic resonance, but I can't hone in on it. And they were two different tones. So I'm going to go backwards here, just to try and find it. There's one. It's on a very short range. This is, there's a high harmonic resonance that's on a very short range of RPMs that I can't even quite focus on it. Yeah, it's really hard. There it is again. And again. So actually, um, it's really hard to detect it. The first time around, I only heard the higher one once, and now I'm not hearing the lower one at all. So um, I wouldn't worry about the harmonic resonance of this fan too much, but it could happen. <clears throat> now, as far as static pressure being that this is a larger fan and it's running slowly and quietly I mean right right now I'm gonna go close my door behind me because it's the traffic noise is coming in here and in interfering it's that time of morning when everybody's scurrying to work on a Saturday so as far as static pressure this really has very little static pressure I would say maybe 0.3 millimeters hit point four something like that not exactly sure so really only useful for a case you're not going to want to put it on an air cooler or a water cooler but you know I do like the color of the blades but color is hardly the reason we buy things right nobody buys things for lights and color right or you know physical appearance that's not important is it well, for a lot of people, it is. And for some people, it's more important to get a fan that is attractive than a fan that will actually cool off the computer, which is baffling to me because I want my computer to work well, even if it doesn't look beautiful, because I'm going to be looking at the screen, not the computer, rather than it performing poorly but looking great, you know, because this is not the world of fashion. But, you know, call me crazy. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at the specs. Hello, thanks for watching my video, and I need to ask for your help. Um, so my financial situation has become very uncertain with my employer and also with the workers' comp case I have from an injury I had at work uh, last year in 2023, uh, for which I'm currently suing the workers' comp company. I really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months. But in, I, if you can find it within your ability without screwing yourself up to uh, help me out, you have two options. Um, one of those is which is to just go to my channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, and uh, make a one-time donation there. Or if you would want to do a re, uh, repeating donation, a monthly donation, you can go to patreon.com slash... Um, <coughs> so slash... G-L-E-N-N-M 
I I. That's G as in Glenn, L E N as in Nancy, N as in Nancy, M as in Mary, I I. No, not I I, but I I, right? And uh, there are various choices for you to uh, sign up for. Um, if you <coughs> cannot afford the lowest um, option that I have put up there, let me know and I will put in a lower option that can work for other people. Um, also, I want to say thank you to my very first Patreon, Rudik uh, from Australia, who has been very kind enough to uh, support me and even said if I can't afford the postage to send the gifts that he has uh, become eligible for, that's okay. Um, I will certainly try to do that anyways. Um, and uh, it, it means a lot because not only did you... Um, choose to financially support me but you've also been supportive in some of your in some comments on my, some of my videos and I think that's absolutely fantastic so um yeah if there are any questions please put them in the comments and uh you here or on patreon and uh, I will try to get back to as quickly as possible sometimes I don't see comments right away because of the way YouTube works and uh oh by the way um Thank you to Bleeping Computer, and it's the owner of Bleeping Computer who goes by the name of Grindler online on uh, on his uh, website for allowing me to use his platform to promote my channel, uh, the PC Expert Amateur, and uh, I appreciate it very much. And you, sh if you need help with uh, say malware or technical problems with your computer. The uh, Bleeping Computer volunteers are a good bunch of people who have a, a great deal of knowledge about a lot of different kinds of problems with computers. Um, and with mal there is a dedicated volunteer <coughs> malware removal team there. Sorry. And we'll be happy to help you. And you can just go to bleepingcomputer.com and click on the forums. There's also lots of uh, great news about cybersecurity, about hackers and stuff like that.